Hi, this is Malcolm Monroe, the career fitness coach, and welcome to this week's edition of Career Fitness Tips. In the next few minutes, you'll get some new ideas, tools, tips, and techniques that are guaranteed to make you more effective in your personal and your professional life. So with no further ado, tune in to this week's edition of the Career Fitness Tips with me, Malcolm Monroe, the Career Fitness Coach. You know what happened, friend? They stole a golden ingot out of the mining office down there. And they hid it under the floorboard of the shack that they lived in. Kind of careless of them, wouldn't it? Huh? I mean, does a mining company usually leave gold ingots lying around like that? Well, that does seem a bit peculiar, you know. Uh, matter of fact, Stacy kept bringing that up to trial all the time, saying that he was being railroaded with. Uh, no. and, and do you know that's why they're mad at us? No, I'll tell you what you can do, Sheriff. What? When those boys come back to town, uh -huh. you just clap the bracelets right on them. Me? Yeah. Well, I might have forgot to mention they were all three passed out at the time, you know. Oh. Look, I'm no law, man. You know, they just hung this thing on me when that young Marshal Duncan was killed. You know, he was whipped to death right here in this street. Bull whipped. Damnedest thing I ever saw. Now, why would anybody want to do a thing like that? Well, I don't know. Wasn't anybody from this town anyhow. How do you know? Well, this is a good town, and these are good people. And look, friend, we sure would like it if you'd help us with our problem. Only problem you've got, Sheriff, is a short supply of guts. Uh, you people don't need me. Look, place a couple good riflemen on top of that building up there. Maybe a couple more with shotguns down behind green bags over there, a few more on this roof here. Look out up there in the bell tower, maybe a rifleman. That should just about take care. Yeah. Well, what would it take to see that through, you know? Hmm? The ambush, what would it cost us? Sheriff, I don't know as if I really like this town that much. Well, this is a God-fearing town. These God-fearing people. You like him, you save him. Look, what if we offered you anything you want? Anything? Unlimited credit. That's what it means. An open charge account with no reckoning. <laughs> what his honor's trying to say is you got yourself a free hand in this town, friend. Any damn thing I want. Huh? Yeah, go on, help yourself. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video clip. You know, again, that's from one of my favorite movies, which is High Plains Drifter with Clint Eastwood. And if you didn't follow the movie or haven't seen it, Basically, he rides into town. There's some real troublemakers coming. They pay him a lot, and of course you saw in the movie an open line of credit with no reckoning, to rid the town of its problems. And of course in the process, he totally destroys the town because in fact he is that marshal who was horse whipped to death. Now that I've given away the plot, what does it mean for all of us today? Well, it means that people will pay well for expertise. You know, last week we talked about being a thought leader. This week is about the consequences of becoming a thought leader or a knowledge leader. And so think about it this way. A couple friends I spoke with this past week told me about what it cost one and what it paid the other to be a thought and an expert in the field. One of them said he had to pay someone a lot of money to help him with a financial problem with his software, and it was money that he had to pay because he needed the expertise. This person had it, and he paid the money, and the problem was solved. The second person is looking to improve an organization, and she was putting together a proposal, and she looked at the numbers, and she put a number that she thought was a little high, the customer bought it with no question whatsoever because, again, she's an expert in her field. So there is a reward for being an expert. Think about that this week if you're looking for a job. What do you have to offer to solve somebody's problem or to help them make more money? If you have those things, employers will pay well for that. Or if you're a consultant, clients will pay well for that. So review the lesson from last week. Things that you can do, of course, we talk about reading, networking, learning as much as you can, learning how to do something different, learning how to do something better, and being able to convey that message to everybody else. Each of us has a responsibility because each of us has special gifts and abilities that were given to us so we could do remarkable and wonderful things. So this week, take a look for the things you can do to learn more about your fields, and also look for people who need what you're offering. 
Next week, we're going to go ahead and start looking on how to market those things. But in the meantime, have a really great week, and I'll see you next week on the Career Fitness Tips. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Career Fitness Tips with me, Malcolm Monroe, the Career Fitness Coach. You know, if you really take time to apply the principles you just heard, you'll make a huge difference in the way you do business both at home and at work. So make sure you do that this week. Take the tip and put it to work. If you've got more questions about that, why don't you just email me directly? You can reach me at coach at email the coach. Or check me out online on www.careerfitnesscoach.com. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week on Career Fitness Tips.